Hi YouTube, Budget Benina. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I wanted to share a payday prep that we have. Um, we went to Kroger's, we went to Aldi's, we went to Walmart, we went to the Five Quarter Store, also known as Dollar Tree, and we went to our local farmer market called Selmy's to pick up some sweet corn, which it is so good. It melts like butter in your mouth. So let's get this camera turned around and I'll share with you everything that I picked up. I guess that we'll start from the right and move to the left again. <clears throat> so we'll start with what I, I was telling you about the corn. Oh my gosh, this is the bicolor sweet corn and they are seven ears for five dollars or 13 ears for nine dollars well since there's the two of us you know this is plenty for us to eat and we're going to have that with some salmon patties for dinner um we will go to kroger's kroger's had their chips on sale again this week and all the chips that i bought last time was from when we went on our little vacation trip and needless to say they're all gone so um, the Fritos and the Lay's, those were, um, $1.99 and the Doritos were $1.89. Now the Lay's, Kroger's had them, buy four, you get it for $1.99. So you had to buy four of them in order, to, in order to get it for that price, which that's what we did. Randy's a big chip eater. I like some with my sandwiches. And um, so that's why I picked up some extra ones. Um, I do like these. They had these on sale for $2.79, the blue corn tortilla chips. And they had the pops, four for $12 at Kroger's. So we picked those up. Um, the grand total that I spent at Kroger's was $26.53. Okay, um, the Mexican grocery store, um, I did pick up two bags of beans. Uh, this is not the normal kind that I get, but this is another good brand. So if you see this, the, this brand is really good. Uh, the beans are pretty fresh looking in there. They're all nice and light colored. And they are $7.29 each, so $14.58 for the two bags. <clears throat> then I only got just a few little things at Aldi's. I did pick this up to try it. I don't know if any of you guys have tried this soup. Um, it's a big can, 28 ounces, one pound of vegetable soup, and it was $2.79. And that would fill both Randy and I up. Um, I could always um, cook some lentils or some rice or quinoa and add that to it. That would add some more substance if we were still hungry or even just having a grilled cheese with it. Um, or just a sandwich that would be good with the soup. So you get a cup of soup and a sandwich and you're good to go. You know, a nice quick little lunch. <clears throat> Picked up some green peppers. Those were $1.99. I'm going to add some of that into our salmon patties that I'm making tonight for dinner. Some strawberries. Those were $1.99. Those things just keep going up and up. Hopefully next year um, we can have a put a strawberry patch in. I know we probably won't get very many, but... Um, in the next couple of years, hopefully they will produce quite a bit more. Did pick this up. It's that time of year. It's pumpkin patch for breeze. It always smells so good. And that was at $2.94 at Aldi's. So my grand total that I spent at Aldi's was $11.53. Not very much there. Let's move on over. I'll just show you the few little things that I um picked up at dollar tree five quarter store just some extra little decorations that sign welcome to our patch so freaking cute i had to get it and then um i picked up two of these and what are you doing eating my flowers <laughs> max so <laughs> got two of those and they're gonna go up there on that um for my decoration on the fireplace and move them aside so she does not get them again. I picked up this little um, tractor pick 
which I'm going to take it off of the pick, and this will look really nice on a tiered tray on top of the table, the dining room table here. So that's where that will go. And I picked up these little guys for Halloween to decorate. So she's trying to chew on that, silly girl. And what I spent at the Five Quarter Store was, oh, wait a minute, there's some other things. Sorry, Magnolia distracted me, so I didn't show you these little guys. This is so cute, this little wooden sign welcome autumn it's so thick and that'll look cute in the kitchen i did get this for the car um i don't know if any of you guys are like me that you need to have <clears throat> bifocal lenses and you need to have things magnified in order to see that small print well this actually has a little tiny light on it sorry if i blinded anybody was not trying to but this is really neat to have. You can keep it like it does have a magnet on it. So you can stick it on the refrigerator or um, you can put it in your glove box in the car, which that's what I'm planning on doing with this is keeping it on the glove box in the car. I think it had a magnet on it. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that one. <laughs> but I thought it had a magnet on it. I could be wrong. But this will go in the glove box of the car so that when Randy needs something, to look at something bigger, or if I can't see it very good with my glasses, I can also use that too. These little suckers were so darn cute. They had this little bread maker ceramic dish. It says gather. <laughs> Hopefully I don't break it. Um, fall is my favorite color. I think this one is like my favorite one of the three. And this last one fresh picked apples so i'm going to use probably one in here for decorating and one in the kitchen maybe two in the kitchen i'm not sure but those are the things that i got at the five quarter store and like i said if you it, it doesn't necessarily have to be food that you want in a budget it can be also decorations because those things can get pretty pricey and Dollar Tree is putting out some pretty cute things. And for five quarters, that's not a bad deal. I spent $12.50 there. Let me kind of move these out of the way so that Magnolia does not try to eat them again. Moving on to Walmart. Let's go there. This one, oh my goodness, friends. $4.67 for 18 eggs. I about pooped my pants. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it, but I about pooped my pants when I saw that price. Um, I don't know if any of you guys follow Rudy on Alaska Prepper, but um, he was talking that 2023 is going to be the year where we really start feeling it in the pocketbook. If this price is showing you what is to come, then I suggest, you know, start amping up. And that's exactly what I've done. And everything that I've got here is mostly stuff that can be put away and for extended use. Um, make sure you check your dates. You know, if you already have your prep, your pantry <clears throat> for 23 and 24, you're going to want to start looking at 25, 26, 27, further out years of things to get. And that's kind of like what I did here on some of my stuff. So I know you can get some of these things at the Walmart price, um, the great value price, excuse me, cheaper. But the year does not go out as far. And it it's going to go bad on you. And you're going to want something for a longer extended shelf life. So that's kind of where I went with what um, things that I got. So let's go on and I'll show you what else I got. Got another bag of some black beans, $2.57 for that bag. Another bag of popcorn, $2.26. I am old fashioned. Um, we didn't have a whole lot of money when I was growing up. Um, like I told you, my, my dad worked, but my mom stayed at home. My mom didn't drive. She was the home mom that 
was there all the time. And we popped popcorn over the stove in a pot. And that was a good treat for us. And still to this day, I love eating popcorn. So I'll pop it and an idea for you guys to try. If you like hot, after you pop your popcorn, put some Tabasco sauce on your popcorn. It is a game changer. I'm telling you, game changer. Every year I have to get my Halloween Oreos. I don't know why. These are the ones that I like the most and that I always get them. And my reasoning, even my daughter when she was young, this was our reasoning. Well, mom, she would say, you know they're fresher because they put them out for just the season. I'm thinking, well, yeah, because Oreos normally, they stay on the shelf for quite a while. And you know the preservatives that are in them to keep them on the shelf. But the seasonal ones, they're out for a little bit and then they're gone. So <laughs> that's my philosophy on eating the the Oreos from Halloween or from Christmas. You know, I always get them. That's my little treat. I love those things. Back here, we got some more Club Crackers, $4.28. The reason I like these is because they are individually wrapped. And it makes it easier to um, seal them in a, a vacuum seal bag so for longer term storage. <clears throat> Randy wanted these one night for dinner. I haven't bought these in a long time. Some agratin potatoes. Those were $2.24. These I picked up for those days um, when we had like our pizza night. <laughs> we get home late and it's like, oh, uh, what are we going to have for dinner? So these are quick meals. $2.98 for this chow mein noodles. And for Randy, um, sorry about my neighbor's. $3.98 for the spicy Kung Pao. Um, what I would do with these little bowls, I would open up a can of chicken, divide that can of chicken between the two, and that would be our dinner. So we would also get our protein. Yes, I do know that it is high in sodium, but it's not something that we eat every day. This is just something for a quick meal if we have to have it. Um, did get some more apple cider vinegar to have in my pantry for um, a prep. You, you definitely wanna have your vinegars. It's good for so many different things. Um, so definitely stock up on your white vinegar and your apple cider vinegar. We don't have wings, cause wings are so darn expensive, but we do have um, thighs and legs that we can go ahead and put the seasoning on there and maybe add some extra um, hot stuff. I do have some um, ghost chili pepper or ghost pepper powder that one of my friends, her husband, ground up and gave that to Randy. So he'll probably add some of that to his portion of the, the hot wings. But this will be good enough for me. I do like the wings, but I don't like going in there because I just feel very self conscious going in there. But this will work for us. This is something that is a little on the pricey side. And um, just from talking to my doctor, it's something that she suggested for me to try and add into my diet. It's supposed to be really good for your intestines. Um, I don't even know how to say that word. Matcha, matcha powder. Someone please help me with that one. <laughs> it was $9.20. So I'm planning on putting a spoonful of this into my... Um, cheese seed pudding that I make so I'll eat that when I have my cheese seed pudding we did pick up some more bacon bits to put in the back this is something good to have for example and you want the real bacon bits if you cannot get bacon and you know you do have eggs it's this is still you know another source of of protein that you can put this in your eggs you can add it to your mashed potatoes um, you can put it in your potato soup. There's so many different things that you can do with it that will help add that extra protein that you need in your body. <clears throat> Excuse me. This goes along with some other things that I picked up for baking season, which is just around the corner. So I was kind of low on a couple of my food coloring, so I picked up another one of these, $3.47 for that, along with 
some light corn syrup, $1.94. I did not have any of the light corn syrup in the Great Value, so I had to get the Cairo, and that was $2.97. Um, some Morton salt, $1.26. Um, yes, I could get generic Great Value salt, which I do have some, and Helen Hip. Himalayan salt. Sorry about that. But this makes my tortillas taste so much better when I make my homemade tortillas. My mom always used the Morton salt. So this is what I use to make my tortillas. Um, I've used the regular salt. I've used the Himalayan salt. They just don't come out the same. I, I mean, to each their own, I guess, but this is what I get and this is what I use to make my tortillas. <laughs> Some apple butter, because Mr. Randy likes his apple butter, $3.87. It makes for a good breakfast, a light breakfast, you know, just toast and some apple butter on it. This he absolutely loved, so got another one. I was not a big fan of it. The white cheddar and black pepper, $2.12. Um, we do have some fish in the freezer that we do have to eat. So we picked up some fish fry seasoning, $2.94. This is going to be put in a Mylar bag, stashed away, $2.64. Always remember breakfast food. Um, it used to be the cheapest meal that you could eat in a day but it is starting to get pricier. But pancakes are filling. They're only $2.64 for this Aunt Jemima brand of Complete where you just add water to it. Um, it can fill your bellies, you know. Always think of things like that that can fill your bellies. It's not the most nutritionist thing on the market. I get that, but when you're hungry and your kids are hungry, it will it will fill your belly. Um, we did pick up one of these because Randy's reliving our days again. He liked this, and I'm like, all right, babe, we'll get it. $3.98 for the complete meal, and you just add water. And this is another thing, too, you know, if um, you can't um, get all your ingredients for some reason... This is something good to have. It's all right there, ready to go. If you had to like bug out quickly and you, you know, grab that, put it in your bug out bag. You know, that's something that's a good meal to go on for on the go type of a thing. Another one of these boxes, pizza makers. These are actually pretty good, you know, especially when you're adding your own ingredients to it. It's a lot cheaper than buying a pizza from a restaurant and... You can make it at home, and it's fun because everybody gets involved, puts on what they like. Um, it just makes for a nice family night, or even like for us, it puts us together in the kitchen instead of him in the living room watching TV, and I'm in the kitchen by myself. You know, pour a glass of wine, make your pizza, and just have a nice little romantic dinner night. So it's, it's an idea. <laughs> Nobody says you have to do it, but it's an idea. We did pick up three more four packs of the chunk chicken breast, and those were $9.98. And these go clear out to 2025. So definitely consider these, but I'm gonna tell you guys, be really careful and check the very bottom can, this, this can right here, this last can. I don't know why, but some reason, so many cans are damaged. And when your cans are damaged, then it compromises their shelf life. So you definitely want to make sure your cans are not dented in any way, shape, or form. We did pick up some more of the Great Value Spam. I got three, six of the low sodium. And we got two that are bacon flavored. And those all were $1.98. Now those went down, because they used to be $1.99. So now they're $1.98. So Walmart dropped them a penny, which is awesome. Penny's a penny, you, I mean, you save where you can. 
picked up a tomato paste in a tube, $2.42. I don't know if any of you guys have ever bought this. Um, I can't remember was when the first time it was that I bought this. I was watching Rachel Ray and she had it on there. I'm like, oh, I've got to try and find that and try it. I had never used it before. But if you don't use tomato paste a lot, this is something really good to have. It squeezes like toothpaste and you put it in the refrigerator and it's got a pretty good shelf life along with the refrigerator life. The shelf life on this is good until 2025. So use your cans first and then resort to the tube. Picked up another small thing of Tabasco for our condiments. $1.64 for that. And that one is good until 20, 2025 as well. You definitely, like I said, want to check your dates and make sure you buy things that are out. Um, I forgot the luncheon meats. I think these were until 2027. Yes, those are good until 2027. So you definitely want to stock up on things like that that have a much longer shelf life. Because, like I said, you know, talking to other people that I know and listening to what other creators are saying on YouTube, um, the next year is going to be a really bad hurting year along with the years after that. So definitely, definitely stock your shelves. <clears throat> I picked up the Better Than Bouillon. I do have bouillon powders and I have chicken stock and I have beef stock and vegetable stock in the containers, you know, the liquids. But these are something for a longer term. These are good until 2024. Once uh, to open it then but then you know once you open this you put it in the refrigerator and they do last for quite a while in the refrigerator so i did get a chicken and a beef and those were four dollars and 28 cents each i picked up two more cans of these sliced jalapenos uh those were 92 cents each and their shelf life is until 2026 now, this is really good to put in your eggs and your beans. Um, and you can chop it up and put it in salsa. But eggs and beans is what I've always done with it. And your tacos. Um, put it on top of your tostadas. You know, any type of dish you want to enhance the flavor. These are really, really good for that. I did pick up two cans of the Manwich. I love Manwich. I've tried the other brands. Aldi's is okay. I do like theirs. But Manwich is the bomb. And if you can get <laughs> something you like, go for it. These were $1.26, which that's not bad. That's not outrageous. And, you know, I picked up two more cans of those to have because I love my Manwich with a slice of cheese on that sandwich. Mm-mm, delicious. Picked up five more cans of whole potatoes. These have gone up. They were 49 cents, 50 cents each. Now they're 78 cents. And these are good until 2025. So I made sure, and I know some people are going to be mad at me for this and, you know, think down upon me, but I'm sorry. I'm doing what I have to do for my household. I didn't take the last of it. That's not what I did. But I reached in the back. I grabbed... 2025 so that I had them because it was 2022 2023 and then 2025 there was no 2024s but this is good because I have quite a bit of potatoes and this is what I need for further out so always look at what you have in your pantry and go from there on what you need and what you need to get here's some more um, baking supplies the molasses to make gingerbread or gingerbread cookies that was $3.48. And, you know, make our own Chinese food at home. We got some sesame sauce, $3.72. And Kung Pao sauce, that's also $3.72. And one of my subscribers, and I'm sorry, I cannot remember your name right now, but she was telling me about her Walmart, <clears throat> what it says on the barcode. And when you go up to the cash register, different prices, right here. These were four something. 
And when we got up to the checkout, it was $5.78. Randy was just like, oh my God, we are not buying those again. For that price, no, 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 no. The fajita seasoned beef strips. Um, one of these cans would feed us okay, um, but I always cook two cans so that he has some extras to eat. You just, you know, add your peppers and onions to it, add some extra on there. And actually, these peppers are really good in there with it. And then you just roll it up in your tortillas and eat. And that's a meal, you know. Um, we could limit ourselves to one of these and just add more green peppers and onions and, you know, more jalapenos in there. And that would be more filler in there. Two cans of the pulled pork, and that was $4.12. And with the pulled pork, there's all different ways you can do with it. One can actually does feed us because I will either make mashed potatoes and some gravy and put that on top of it, and we eat that. <clears throat> you can put a slice of bread on the bottom and your mashed potatoes next to it or on top of it, and then your meat and gravy um, rice, you can cook it with rice. You can also use this with your peppers and make pulled pork fajitas. Um, so there's a lot of different ways you can do with it. You can put it with vegetables and make a soup if you wanted to. So there's the, the different things you can do with it are endless. I did pick up another jar of Jeff peanut butter. This is really, really getting outrageous on their prices. I think one more jar of peanut butter and I should be good until 20, 25, 26 on my peanut butter. Six seventy eight for that one. And that was 40 ounces. And the shelf life is 20, 24. Another can of the Dinty More Beef Stew. Uh, it's got everything you need in it. Yes, it is high in sodium, but when you are limited on what you have to eat, um, it makes a good meal. It's got all the vegetables in it. And like I said, you can also add rice in it. You can put it on toast or bread, um, make homemade bread even with it. So there's a lot of different options there too with the Dinty More Beef Stew. Always look outside of the box when you're preparing something. One can of whole peeled tomatoes. A dollar and 36 cents. Um, Randy wanted that to make his chili. I just used diced. <laughs> I'm okay with the diced. We did pick up, because it's fall season around the corner, a box of pumpkin spice coffee. That was $14.92. Telling you, friends, coffee's getting to be outrageous. I'm glad I've got some in the back stashed away, but ugh, it's getting outrageous. <clears throat> okay, we picked up two jars of the Rayo's homemade pizza sauce. Those were four seventy eight. I got the margarita style, and we got um, just the regular old pizza sauce. These had the shelf life, and let's see if I can find that here. Um, it was hard to find on it. It was. I don't know why they put the prices or the. They put it right there on the glass, which makes it so hard to see. But right above my thumb, you can kind of see it says 2025 there. So these are, these are good until 2025. And that's some of the things that I was telling you. I could have got the great value of this. I could have got another brand. I looked at all of them. And I was looking specifically for 2025. And the Rayos won. <laughs> Not price-wise, but they won. I did pick up three more cans of soup. I got um, the chicken noodle, $2.18. A small little vegetable beef, which I didn't put the price on it, but it was like 80-something cents. I will include that. Uh, and let's see. This one was roasted chicken noodle, $2.18. One can of tomato paste, 76 cents. And like I said, don't forget about your spices. Um, pumpkin spice, $1.94. Have any of you ever put this in your coffee or in your oatmeal? 
it does add some extra flavor to those things. So, you know, that's something else to keep in mind. It's not just for baking. There are other things you can do with it. And your chia seed, chia seed pudding, too. You can add that to it, along with the ground nutmeg. It tastes really good in coffee and in your oatmeal. I did get some crushed rosemary. I did, did need more of this because that I don't use it a whole lot. Every now and then I'll put it on chicken. It's just one of those, you know, you got to have that craving for it, not necessarily want to have it. And I don't use it all the time, but I did pick up another one of those and this is all that they had. So I picked it up now because I would have forgot about it while my mind was thinking about it. Two cans of whole pinto beans. Those are $1.23. I like my beans making myself, but if for some reason I can't do it and need them quickly done, this is a good way to do it. Um, open up this. You can eat them like this way, or like I said, you know, put a little bit of lard or oil. I don't like oil because it just doesn't come out very good, but lard or Crisco in your pan that helps to thicken it up to make the refried bean stage of that. And it is delicious. And like I said, putting those peppers in this and with your queso fresco on top of it, I could just eat a bowl of beans by themselves. Just saying. <laughs> Sliced pears, these went up. They were a dollar. Remember I was telling you that? They were a dollar. They're a dollar and 28 cents now. I picked up three cans of those. I did pick up another four pack of the solid white tuna. I do have regular tuna. And what I do is I mix one of these cans with the other can. So it's not just the solid white. I get both of them together. $6.73. I just, I'm not a huge fan of the fishy taste the tuna has, but I like tuna. And I also have, um, put lemon juice or lime juice on it. That also helps kind of get rid of that strong fishy taste. So you just squeeze a little bit of juice on them. If you have those little tiny um, shaped lime or lemons, that does help. I keep those in the refrigerator and just tiny little squeeze on it and then mix up tuna fish salad or make it in a tuna casserole. But I always mix the two cans because the regular tuna has a much stronger fishy taste than the albacore does. And albacore is so much more expensive. So that's why I mix the two together. Okay. Oh, I don't think I told you I had gotten the bananas from um, Aldi's too. And I did. I got my bananas from Aldi's. Let me see what the price of that was here real quick. I have my Aldi's receipt here. The bananas were... Um, where are you? They were fifty-two cents a pound, a dollar and fifty-eight cents. So that's how much my bananas were. I think I got everything this time, and my grand total was two eighty-five eighty-eight. So almost three hundred dollars for that little bit of groceries right there, along with my Dollar Tree stuff that I got too. All right, family, that was our haul. Um, the prices are getting up there. That was $300 worth of groceries. I did want to share a couple things with you. One is, um, these are so darn cute. This is for my cat lover people. These right here, it is a pineapple and a crab for your little kitty to climb into and I think that they will probably love it but that's coming out next week and I'm going to get Magnolia the little crab. When we were on vacation I picked up a little seafood truck which I'll include that picture at the very end of the video and it was funny because Randy's like $18 for that. I'm like she's gonna love it. He honestly thought she was not going to go into it and he actually told me that didn't you babe? You didn't think she was going to. He's rolling his eyes. <laughs> he's rolling his eyes. <laughs> but he didn't. And then he says to me, he says, you were right. She loved it. She slept in it. She plays in it. She loves her little taco 
seafood truck. And I was telling my niece, who was with us on our vacation, they have a cat named Scarlet. I says, hey, bring Scarlet over for a fish taco. And she died laughing at that. <laughs> Little things we do to entertain ourselves. Anyhow, <laughs> that is it for today. I would appreciate that thumbs up. Click on that bell and subscribe. Until the next video, bye.